This week on Banfan TV we have a clip of Bally Gown to Blues from their annual parade, an interview with Bobby, also a clip of Kells Sons of William, and a golden oldie from 2011, Tigers Bay Protestant Boys. This is Bond Fan TV. Tonight we're in Valley Gown for Valley Gown True Blues annual parade. I have Bobby with me, and Bobby's going to do the five question interview. Bobby, what age did you join your first band? I joined the first band when I was 13. 13? 13. And have you been in bands all the time? Since that. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. I've been for 37 years. Oh, magic. 37 years of marching history. I think maybe three different bands. Right, right. And why did you join the band? Probably because at that age, <clears throat> All my mates were in bands and joining bands and yes. we actually started up a band from our local area. Right. So it was just a thing to do. Yes. You know, uh-huh. It was just, uh, just good fun. So over all those years, have you a favourite tune? My favourite tune would probably be a tune called Ardoin. Right. It's a love playing, it's a good high tune. Yes. And it's good to beat bands with. And right. Though we're a small band, but we try our best. Yes. With the high tune. There's plenty of small bands around at the minute yeah, anyway, you're not your own there. And what about your favourite parade? Favourite parade would probably be the 12th. The 12th day? July. Yes. Out all day. Out all day. Early morning. Yes. Back at dawn. Mm -hmm. And back late evening. Yes. And that's, that's a good day. Good day. Yes. All, everybody all the time. Yeah. Then uh, this is your trip tonight, but what's the next year got installed for Billy Gantry Blues? Hopefully we'll, we'll get maybe a few more members. Yes. A bit of luck. There's the young ones do seem to have a, an interest as what it was whenever I was younger. No. But hopefully we'll maybe get a few and uh, just the same as any other year, just go and support all our bands that come to us tonight. Yes. Just go from there. Yeah. Well, wait, it's as simple as that. Thank you very much. This Thank is you. a five question interview.
would like to congratulate Clackfair and Young Conkers on their charity football tournament and all those bands that took part with them. We have some clips coming up from the matches, a few of the goals, and an interview with Jim and David, telling us a bit more about their chosen charity. The day started with a moment's silence. something a wee bit different from Fan TV and we're in Rathcool it's Clockburn Young Conquerors charity match boys you had your football match today or football matches tell us a bit more about it it was an idea younger members of the band younger members of the band about being more active in our, in our own local community and now uh, Dodo says lads run with it do what you can give us full back and everything we wanted to do we approached a few bands and as soon as we asked them we were 100% on board a few other bands wanted to be on board, had prior commitments, couldn't do it, that wanted to be involved next year. But it was just a real, real try and get awareness out there for suicide prevention. I see guys in the band scene coming up leading up to the 12th and right up to obviously yesterday, yeah. an ex member of the band. So. so it's all for charity. Which charity did you pick? I chose uh, Pips, on it. they're all based on the Adam Road. And the reason being, one of our members, her brother, had previously took his life and we had asked him who helped him before obviously. He, he, and that's who he was. He went through the system with Emmons, so it was close to home. Yes. Obviously, any charity's close to home, but that one was close to home because we had a member in the bond. Mm -hmm. So we went with Emmons. So we did, and it seems to be going very well. So some other bands have been supporting you. Which other bands were involved? There was ourselves, Gertrude Star, Pray Leg and Valley, and Constable Anderson. Logic. So there was. So, and we've had a, donations coming in from a few other bands, and the local community has pulled together really well. The bands doing quite well. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the charity, sorry. So it's good. So it is. This isn't the first time, David, you've done this before? No, I do, I do the charity in Monkstown. I've done it about four or five weeks ago. We've done a walk through White Abbey, the whole community, maybe 200 people. We've raised over 3,500. Wow. Obviously, obviously, you know, uh, there's mixed community. People lost their lives, committed suicide, mental health. But well, I'm well into it in Monkstown. And I'm glad Jim here brought it up to the barn. Jim actually brought it to the barn. I think the uh, statistics have been. 15 up to Friday are all over Northern Ireland committed suicide. I think that's 16 up to the day. Uh, it's still going to go on and on and on. As we've said, it's good to talk. You need to talk to somebody. And bond members, we've pulled this together today, and hopefully next year it'll get bigger. And it affects every fact of life. And we don't care who comes to this, we'll support them. We've done various charities in the club over present this year. We'll share for a young girl we've done charities for. A lot of people don't see the work loyalist bonds do in Northern Ireland, it's Tim the Dead. And Clock Fern, the Shankle Protestant Boys, right through, they do tremendous work for charity. And it's Tim we've got a bit of recognition yes. for the work we do do for mm -hmm. charity. And mental health is one of the biggest issues in Northern Ireland. Yes, and it's hitting home right now because, as you say, uh, a mother life is sadly taken too soon this weekend. That's, it's absolutely fantastic what you're doing. The bonds reaching out in the community, getting involved, Showing the charity work that you are doing, you should be applauded from one end of the country to the other. Brilliant, lads, well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you.